Hello guys, in this video we try to see which is better to buy, is it a stock or it is an ETF, okay? So we try to speak about the performance, it means how this uh, stock or ETF move and uh, which one is better for you in order to make uh, uh, more money, is it the stock or is it ETF? Okay, so let's go to the uh, explanation thing. Okay, so so we try to divide this into two. Okay, so here is a stock. And here is an ETF. Okay, now in order not uh, to just speak in general, we take an example okay let's say we take an example of the d i a and most of you maybe you know this is the dow jones etf it means that uh, etf it tracks an index now this index is the dow jones Dow Jones Industrial, which is 30 stocks. Now, okay, we have the index, and this DIA, it's an ETF that tracks this Dow Jones index. Okay? We take, since uh, this Dow Jones has 30 stocks, okay, this ETF it gives you the average of these 30 stocks, the average of all these 30 stocks. It means, in general, so we have, we said we have 30 stocks. Now, the 30 stocks, there are some stocks that are, that are the trend is very, is very good. There are some stocks that it is not doing the, the good and there are some stocks that are going down okay so you will have this average which is the ETF gives you the average of the good plus the medium plus the bad okay and the average is this is the price of uh, here is the price of uh, this ETF now, what about a stock? If you buy a stock, is it? do you think that the stock will be doing better than ETF or what? Also, when you buy a stock, you have more risk. Now, why more risk? Okay, why more risk? Because a stock also could go into three, uh, three things one of the three things either it can go up it can go sideways and it can go down so which is better for you stock or etf now here is my opinion if you want the average of 30 stocks you will have less risk than a stock. This is in general. Less risk. But also understand that it will be less profits. Okay? So understand this. Now, a stock will have more risk, but if you succeed, if, you, if the stock goes up, it will be doing more than the average. It, it will be doing more than the average. So we'll have more profits. And, but if the stock is going down, what do you have? You have more loss. More loss than the ETF. So, 
what you should choose is how you want uh, things in the future if you for example you want just what the market gives you which is the index which is the uh, the etf the etf gives you the average of the, what the market do and this is what all the people are following is it uh, for example dow jones or is it s p 500 or is it russell uh, 2000 it's the same thing okay but understand that there are stocks that are doing more than the average okay for example if you take for example the etf dow jones if you search the 30 stocks you find some stocks are doing better than the average okay and you find some stocks are doing the same as the average as the uh, the average uh, of all stocks and you find stocks that are doing worse than the index so here when you say the average you compare a stock one stock you compare it to the average so you will find some that are doing good or better some that are doing the same some that are doing worse but understand if you are interested in the future to have less risk and less profits it's better to take an etf if you you want more risk and more profits it means your stock if it's going up so good understand that you are getting more than the average and the more than the average of the market okay let's say uh, let's say they say for example uh the dow jones or s p 500 in uh, 50 years it gets 70 percent each year now uh, uh, when we say uh, 70 uh, 7 percent it means that uh, uh, some years are good some years are bad some years are okay and they uh, they they add all these years and they divide and they find seven percent in all years but understand that there are some stocks okay that some stocks are having for example 100 percent each year in uh, five years or seven years or ten years 100 percent or 70 percent or 120 percent so you should understand that stocks can do better than the average of the etf but understand also that uh, if uh, for example uh, an etf has done let's say this year has done minus three percent it means it's 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 bad minus three percent now we are in may just an example okay understand that some stocks when they go down you can for example they go down 20 percent which is so bad okay or you can do or you can find good stocks that are doing for example plus five percent better better than the etf so in order to take a decision what to do you should think about all this what i say the more risk more profits and more losses depending on uh, which side are you or you have less risk and less profits okay but understand that sometimes when there is a bad year all these can can go bad the only difference is that the etf is always having less risk than a stock itself so this is the the main thing difference between a stock and etf and always always whenever you buy a stock try to see what is its uh, index or industry okay at least at least you will know that this stock okay you compare it to its industry and in my chart uh, i always showed you how to do this it means to look for the stock to its index okay so hope uh, this explanation 
uh, you have an idea what to do in the future and uh, if you have more questions please ask uh, your questions and i will be happy to do more thank you very much uh, for uh, watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your guys uh, with you guys with facebook or twitter or whatever thank you very much and see you uh, tomorrow if god wills